So welcome Agile friends. My name is Vasco Duarte and uh, I'm here with uh, our unique speaker, uh, Christian Wenger, who's going to talk to, to us about how to apply lean and agile in filmmaking. Hey, Chris, welcome to the summit. Thanks, Vasco, for having me. Super cool Absolutely. to be here. Absolutely. It's a pleasure to have you here. Chris is a Swiss born film director in tech and marketing, who creates compelling stories about human experiences. Uh, influenced by his mother's acting, so his mother is also in the film industry, he emphasizes humanity in his visually distinct work. And uh, some notable projects include Three Pills and uh, commercials for major brands like Toyota, Microsoft and, and others. Uh, he applies lean and agile in his own approach to filmmaking for the benefit of his customers, of course, and that's what we're going to explore today. But uh, before we dive into Chris's story, I do want to tell you all that uh, you can check out the agileonlinesummit.com and see sessions, for example, like Judy Rees, uh, who will be talking about um, clean language and how to improve our communication skills, and also Jutta Eckstein, who's going to talk about how agile and IT can uh, support our drive for more sustainable ways of uh, living it on the planet. So check those out at agileonlinesummit.com. But now to filmmaking and uh, Chris's story. So Chris, uh, let's start with your origin story. How did you get started applying lean and agile in filmmaking? <laughs> That's a good question, right for a start. So basically, uh... I started uh, started it right in the beginning when I when I started back in 2015. Uh, I have used maybe a little bit of my background also. I have used agile also in in my times uh, at FSecure, <laughs> where and uh, and I and use it for creating content. And and when I came into filmmaking, I was like shocked uh, what Stone Age processes and and especially the the filmmaking process for those not familiar. It's a waterfall process. It has pre-production, production, production post-production. Everything goes after each other. Uh, and then uh, you hope that you get something good. So for me, it was always clear that we need to approach this differently after having worked with customers on the, on the traditional way and always ending up in the end by starting tweaking things and changing things and creating waste. And I just wanted to change this. So I started to use Lean. Uh, and basically in, in a, in very short, it's kind of like reverse production. So basically you start like in software development, you actually start creating by creating a product, a prototype, and then iterate that further. And for me, it was always a no brainer that that's the way to, to do with film as well. So, so uh, uh, th yeah. this interesting aspect of reversing the process, which you, you just talked about, uh, which you copied from your experience in product development in, in software uh, at F-Secure, as you said, um, uh, it, it kind of goes counterintuitive for those that have been for a long time making films the way you described it in a waterfall <laughs> manner, right? So yeah. uh, what do you think that, uh, you know, your colleagues, the rest of the film industry is missing uh, for them not to understand that actually prototyping, creating the final product, i.e. not really the final product. In software, we talk about minimum viable product, for example. But, you know, prototyping could be a way forward. But what's missing in the film industry for people not to get this aspect? Hmm, that, that's a very good question. I think it's just, it's just, um, let, me, let me think about that. I think it's just a different, very different approach. And and when you especially go to production companies who have been doing this years over years, it's it's maybe it's maybe a belief that the old methods really work. And and there is of course a certain change how you have to work with the, with the lean. So for example, you you completely skip away production value in the first iterations and really just focus on on getting the story right. Can, can think, you give me an yeah. example of what you mean? Because of course, our audience here, we're all yeah. in software and product development. <laughs> yeah. we, we don't necessarily understand what production value means. Can you give us an example of what, what it would look like if you were doing the waterfall process, like, you know, in short compared yeah. to what you do? Can you give us okay. a contrasting right. example? Yeah, I think, okay, I take, I take a real, like, real uh, 
life example. I just did a, a mockumentary for a, for a company, and uh, it's you know mockumentary is all about 